It's Black History Month, y'all. Whoop, whoop. Which means for the next 28 days, we get to celebrate being la- being black. And then right after that, just go back to not giving a fuck about it. No, I'm sorry. I'm super black <laughs> in February and I'm black the rest of the year. So that's what it is. You know, what's crazy is like uh, every like I'm the blackest in probably like July, just like biologically. <laughs> <laughs> and up. but then I have to like be black in February also. It's cool though. What's, what, I fuck with what, it. What is, what is the problem with what you just said? Because what, what you, you just said is very like anti black. No, it's not. Yes. No, it's not. I like no, I like I like going to the beach and being like and getting tans and like being black. I'm already dark skinned, but I like Me too. Melanin, I like I like, like I like my melanin on, 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 on ten. I like and melanin. that's the thing, like light skinned people are shiny. I don't want to be shiny. <laughs> I wanna glisten. When you have a certain amount of like melanin, you glisten when you come out the ocean or when you like put on lotion <laughs> after the shower or some shit like that, like you glisten, you're not oh. shiny and and like gleamy and, and shit like that. Mm-hmm, cool. Well, I mean, what I what I just said is probably more anti-black than what I what I said before. Yeah, it was actually. I was just like, uh, all right. Well, so I'm no more anti-black comments in um in, <laughs> in Black History Month. We really just have to ask the question. Is Black History Month still relevant? Always. Okay. But we need some form of representation that's concentrated and just like, here's a dose full. It's like Marilyn Monroe and Dorothy Dandruff, right? Dorothy Dandridge, yeah. Yeah, Dandridge. I said Dandridge. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Dorothy Dandridge. <laughs> what if that's what they called her in elementary school to make fun of her? <laughs> Look, it's Black like History Month, stop. It's Black like History Dandruff. Month, stop. <laughs> and she never shows up anywhere. She's so flaky. <laughs> You learn things throughout the year. You should be learning things throughout the year. Absolutely, consistently. But um, February is where it's hitting at. Indeed. I um, I think it's relevant because there are a lot of schools, a lot of teachers that will, and it's an article that like we talked about earlier, they'll just talk about there was slavery and then there wasn't and then everybody got along just fine after that. Correct. Amundo. And don't really dig into the nitty gritty of black history in America, black history in this world, all the things we contributed to making this country so um, mm-hmm. so lucrative uh, and so abundant. Mm-hmm. I know for me, I was lucky because a lot of my elementary school and junior high school teachers were black. Mm-hmm. And they... Pro-black too. Yes. And they were able to, not just in Black History Month, emphasize a lot of these figures that a lot of other schools Great wouldn't. Mm-hmm. But it was every it was every month. And then, of course, my parents are who the, who my parents are. So, right. you know, they made sure that I Positive understood. People. Absolutely. That I understood, you know, what a privilege it is to, you know, to live in this time, given all the sacrifices and all the tough shit that black people that came before me had to do and had to endure. Mm-hmm. Especially when Dorothy Dandridge was <laughs> getting made fun of <laughs> in the hallways in high school. Despite all the great disgraceful things that happen in February, I feel like everyone just waits for February to show their ass. Shout out to Gail King. Um, in February, um, that's a thing we're um, becoming a trend every February. Really? We're just people just fucking up? Yeah. Uh, you're right. But people fuck up all year round. Just like we should celebrate Black History Month all year round. People fuck <laughs> up all year round. You know what my favorite... Um, my favorite like intersection between technology and Black History Month is Black are the Black Day. History Month memes that you get to see. <laughs> so where you see something where it's like Yolanda Johnson, uh, first woman to wish a motherfucker <laughs> would, <laughs> shit like that. I've seen those. I love like those. the um the photographer who um drank at the all white um the at the all white water fountain. Yeah, him, and they they like, changed it the in quotation. So it's like yo yo. Just doing the most. No, those things are amazing. I yeah. love that. It's like Leon, Leon Johnson, the, <laughs> the the first black man to <laughs> sit at a lunch counter and not tip because the service was bad. <laughs> it, it's those those are like the 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 one of the best things about it, and it kind of brings it home and makes it digestible and palatable to all generations. I, I okay, so that's where you miss me because like uh-huh. there should be some seriousness behind it. You know, these are people who like challenge a system. Mm-hmm. You know came against state violence in various capacities because not every violence is physical 
and um, did it so you can do your foolishness, so you could create your dumbass meme. No offense, but you know what I'm saying. Like, it's so it, at some point you like, yo, check into who these people are, you know. And a lot of you know heroes, you no, know, don't wear capes, and a lot of these people are capeless. So, and I think a big part of it also is, um, you know, we look at these figures that are larger than life. Look at Dr. King. Look at Malcolm X. Look at, you know, Marcus Garvey, Frederick Douglass, people like that. Mm-hmm. But I think it's also important to like recognize people who you know people in your community people who you're friends absolutely those people are making black history as well Mm -hmm. and you know whatever endeavors they have whether it's you know a podcast hint hint (laughs) whether it's um you know anything else that they're doing to you know contribute to the culture um even if they're making you know black history memes we um you know we should acknowledge that as well i know all of the things that that you do regarding the culture and and hip hop and um, the stuff that you were showing me before we even started recording, like that's oh, yeah. black history. Yeah. Like, oh, that's, absolutely. That's, that's you making black history. White people can engage in Black History Month as well. Don't touch it too much, though. You know, they can like, learn. It's, they can read. It's like, yeah, observe, yeah. That's great. That's important. The information, right. The I just, importance. I just don't want you to reiterate it in your own. I don't want you white splaining it. That's the thing. You don't want you don't want to see them up in kente cloth doing like a. You know, a traditional African dance to celebrate Black History Month. (laughs)